Good evening, everybody. Is it evening? It is evening. We're at Disney Springs, and we're gonna try to get into some of these new places. We're actually gonna have like a share a thing here, share a thing there, because uh, we wanna try Maria and Enzo's, mm -hmm. and then we are gonna try to get into Edison to see if we can get in and get like an appy or a drink or something. Mm -hmm. But we had uh, our doctor's appointment this afternoon. This is what the doctor ordered. But pretty much, it's still like just positive news. Like we're just taking one thing at a time. It's not for certain what's going on, but the doctor's got a good idea and confident that we can hopefully have a baby uh, late this year or early next year. So I will have to have a surgery soon. So hopefully sooner than later. Give me outpatient. Yeah, outpatient, easy. They think that I have a slight case of endometriosis and that should be, you know, a, a good surgery to have and easy peasy. And then all, you know, positive things after that. So yeah. it's just a matter of waiting we just got to be patient. Get that scheduled, yeah. And we appreciate. We've gotten a lot of a lot of nice comments from everybody, so thank you. We appreciate the support. Yay! So we're happy. We're mm -hmm. optimistic, and mm -hmm. we're ready. And to celebrate, we're gonna try some new stuff at Disney Springs. Mediterranean. Mediterranean oh, themed. <laughs> I forgot that it was the marathon weekend, and it's technically begun today. I think the expo was yesterday, and today was the first run. Um. So there's like banners all around and we noticed yesterday all the cast members it's the 25th anniversary of run disney so all the cast members have like 25th anniversary so congrats to all the runners and yeah break a leg if you have a run coming up we hope to do one soon they, they yeah. just fill up so fast they fill up so fast and oh, i, I don't want to do the star wars one for my first one because there's one in february so i think we're just gonna have to wait until next like october or november when the run disney season starts again I mean, it's probably soft opening, but here's the, they have the actual entryway open for Enzo's hideaway. And I see people here, but I'm sure it's probably a soft open kind of thing. So we will see what's going on. So, that was a media event. And we probably could have gotten our way in because we walked in and actually a customer was standing next to us and didn't say anything to us, but we don't want to be sneaks or phonies, so I turned around and I was like, this is a media event, right? And the guy, the woman was like, it is. And I was like, we're not supposed to be here. She's like, oh, okay, thanks. And then we left. What so, if she said, come on? I was hoping for honest, since our honestly, we were being honest about not being there because there, there was a bunch of people like me with a camera out, I was taking video and just normal looking people, not anything like crazy media. Probably other YouTuber and Instagram accounts and uh... Hi, blogs. Yeah, and blogs. They probably didn't think anything of it and, and Sarah's dad's number one rule that we always use is act like you're supposed to be there and then it'll be fine and that kind of just happened and it got a really cool glimpse of the actual like lounge area. Looks really awesome, but I just couldn't do it. I was like, you know what, let's turn around. This is the Edison, doing a soft open today. And the ring in the bell, it looks awesome. We, we were in here the other night, but hopefully we'll get to actually walk throughout it. Oh, it's connected. So that was the girl over there who we saw at Enzo's Highway, so I wonder if it's connected. It must be. We got our seat right behind this fan and clock. Look at, there's this cool projection show. We were told that after 10 o'clock, it becomes a 21 and over restaurant. And there's actual like aerialist performers. Off of that off cube. Of that. And then there's a burlesque show down there. So that's why after 21 it's, or after 10 it's 21 and over. Fun. Yeah, let's look at this menu. Look at this cattle. Catalog of parts, the Edison. Ooh. They have mocktails. They have mocktails? Yes, they have four. <gasps> four mocktails. I love these light bulbs, Edison light bulbs. 
There's something called the Edison. I think I have to get that. So these are your drinks. Lots of drinks. And then dinner. Lots Chairs drinks. and nibbles. Entrees. The Edison, a signature beef blend of sirloin short rib brisket. Ooh. Patent Partners. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. Oh my god, look at this. I love that. Ooh, so I got it downstairs. This is where it's gonna be tonight with all the fun. Plant operators only. But I'm going to the washroom. But there's like these cool chairs and, and couches. And then here's like this is strange. This is the this is where you wash your hands from the ladies and the gents. It's like a communal area. That's different. I kinda like it. So here's I got this. This is the Edison. It's it's citrusy it's like and it's like an old-fashioned. And then Sarah got one of the mocktails. Like apple propeller. It's yeah, apple propeller, I think is what it was called. And it's got some ginger and apple and lime. It's really sour. For my friends in the UK, it's very wet. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. So this is the deviled egg appetizer. It's four deviled eggs wrapped in prosciutto. Here our food is. Look at these. Look at these peppers on the side. And those are these are house-made pickles. They actually told us, the manager told us that the, the burger is the beef is made in-house. Like ground. Like ground in-house from it's a mixture of brisket and beef. Yes. So there's the Edison and then we got a house salad with Guys, a house we're sauce healthy. too. We're being healthy. We're being healthy. We're being healthy. <laughs> Look who we found! Hey, it's it's me. Tyler, everybody. Guys, we're on the balcony of uh what's this place even called? The Edison. We're at the balcony of Edison. Look at these stairs. So I will say, Sarah and I had an entree, a salad, an appetizer, an alcoholic drink, a non-alcoholic drink. Then they actually have still water and um, still water and sparkling. And with that, it was like sixty-four dollars pre-tip. And they have a dessert that we said they should get when we come back—a forty-four ounce shake made with the gelato from the gelato place down here at Disney Springs. So we told Tyler we weren't getting dinner. And we did. I ate it. I ate it already. This is this is an unprecedented affair. We're going to see Greatest Showman for the second time, and he's the guy who got us the movie pass. And now we've seen like 15 movies. It. He recommended it. He didn't buy us it. I asked if he'd pay for it, but he didn't want to pay for two. Or let alone three. We made a mistake. We don't get to go see the movie because. In a fit of rushingness, because we tried seeing the 7.30 was sold out, we tried seeing the 7. Um, we just picked three seats, and they were actually two wheelchair seats and a wheelchair companion, which means they were just open spots for wheelchairs to, like, park in. So, we didn't go see the movie because we don't have wheelchairs, we didn't mean to buy those, and there were no other seats together. So, now we're just gonna walk around before we go back. We're we still going to the Edison again? Maybe? Maybe? Tyler's teaching us about poetry. Oh uh, yeah, we we. <laughs> we came back to the Edison because the aerialist starts and the band starts at nine, and then the DJ and the burlesque show starts at ten. TBD if we're gonna be here at ten, but any minute now the aerialist is supposed to start. So we're checking and out their the band. and the band. So we're here to check out their their drinks and their entertainment that is supposed to be all the rage. So She was the girl in the green dress from Singing in the Rain in high school. And in a second life of hers, she wanted to be an aerial. <laughs> this is like your dream come true. No, I'm waiting for you. You have a 
like a vlog that goes on the internet every single day. <laughs> it's different. and we're dead center. So we were both nervous that we were gonna get involved. But uh, I mean, it was, it was a burlesque show. We're not gonna include it, no. but that's why it's 21 and over. That's why it's 21 and over. But I think the aerialist stuff is fine. I almost wish they started the band and the aerialist at nine o'clock and the burlesque at 10 to let families in there to see the aerialist because like, the aerialist was just like a ballerina, but that's like how all ballerinas dress. So, it's definitely different and unique, but we weren't here and we weren't old enough when Pleasure Island was a thing. But it seems very reminiscent to it. Let us know down below if you went to Pleasure Island, like how that would equate to having a bar with aerialists and the last <laughs> Before midnight and we're going to bed. Uh, Dom's on the phone right now. He's getting some stuff ready to send us because he needs Sarah to look at something. Because Dom, Dom, and, Dom and Vic are posting a video tomorrow about what New Year's Eve, right? New, it's all New Year's Eve. So I don't know. This video will probably go probably a little after. Yeah. Like our vlog that but you're watching it. will go up after oh, their video. So Sarah will put the link over here. Check them out. I'm excited. I haven't seen the video yet, so I hope it's good. I'm, I'm telling you guys to watch it. I haven't even seen it. I'm sure it is. But with that, it's, it's good, good to be, to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.